Hello. Hey everyone, it's, um, it's Liam here from Hydro Underwater Hockey. Happy New Year. Hopefully this next year is better than the last one for all our hockey tournaments. One of our um, one of our customers just asked me to trim up um, his Najardis um, before sending them on, which on this occasion I'm happy to do. Um, so I thought, hey, well let's put this on a video so that um, people who haven't trimmed the Najardis or don't know about it um, can see what's going on. So the reason we're doing it is this is a Najardi fin. All right, you can see there's like a straight line across there, which some some people find a little bit uncomfortable. And then when you look at it, the edge of it, it's quite fat and thick. And the top of this part sometimes runs up the back of people's Achilles, um, up the back of their heel. This is a marina fin, and you can see if you compare them, the marina at the top is a lot thinner. Generally, with the marinas, you don't need to trim the the strap because the heel strap is a lot thinner in it kind of starts its life a lot a lot comfier and with the size 2 it's not as pronounced but with this marina there's a little bit more of a a little curve around here which is a bit comfier on the on the front of your foot as well so basically we're going to do a little bit of a trim on this um, and what we're going to do is we're going to trim a little sort of arc at the front here just to make that a little bit comfier and then we're going to come around and we're going to trim down to that line trim down to that line and then around the line and that's going to make it just a little bit comfier at the back of the heel. Some people don't bother with this at all. Some people have to have it done otherwise it, the, the fin's uncomfortable on their feet. So I've got a pair of scissors here. These are pretty flashy ones but just a standard pair of scissors will do just as well. So don't be mucking around with knives. Um, yeah and this stuff's really difficult to cut with a knife. Don't do it with a knife, do it with the scissors. scissors. So basically just do a little bit of a trim. Start with a nice, nice neat little arc. And I'll just do it down here where it's easier and then I'll show you when I've finished. You can hear our printer in the background. Hopefully you can still hear me all right. So you can see we basically just cut a little a little arc there. It looks a little bit ragged at the moment, but don't worry, that'll be fixed. Now we're going to cut around that line, that line at the top. I could set up some kind of proper video thing at some stage, couldn't I? But we don't do this often, so I'm just going to trim around that line and then show you what I did. Show you how switch to our big scissors. Better. As you can see, I'm not editing this video because it's taken bloody ages, but just bear with me. We could just have a conversation. How are you guys going? Hope you're not locked down where you are. I know a lot of you guys are, but I um, hope you're still able to get to the pool and for your practices and stuff. Been a pretty weird, weird year. There we go. So, you can see that I kind of trim the edge out and now I'm going to take the second piece of equipment sandpaper you want it fairly smooth you don't want like 80 grain or anything you want something like probably 100 or more maybe 150 or something this is 250 it doesn't really need to be this fine but just give it a bit of a sand I'm going to sand all the edges this rubber sands pretty easy just give it a nice sand until it's nice and smooth don't have to do much you can use something like a Dremel if you want to if you've got some kind of sanding tool like that it'll make pretty short work of it as well but it's not necessarily strictly necessary Just the sandpaper. and again anytime you have anything a little bit um, if you have some kind of little uncomfortable bit on your fin you can always sand it away if you need to now once I've finished doing this I'm going to show you one more thing as well about these fins. Some stage we'll do a video showing how to put them on. Showing how to put them on and put them off, take them off, but we'll do that now. There you go. That's probably good. So just trim, trimmed it round really. 
Now one more thing. So this this fin I'm holding here, eh, that's the way up you'd hold it. So I'd stick my foot in, in like that. Now sometimes if someone's got a really wide foot, that means that your foot goes in and the length is okay, but maybe it's too tight across. What you do is you flip it over like this. And what's happening here is these two veins, these, these two sort of big fins, are being held together to form the width of the pocket by this material in the middle. And what you can do to loosen that um, width of the pocket is basically do exactly what we did here. We, did, we cut a little arc here. You cut a little arc down here. Just start with a little one. And what that does is just loosens the, po the pocket sideways slightly. So you cut a little bit and then try it on again and see if it's wide enough. And then if it's not still, then you cut a little bit deeper, cut a little deeper until you've loosened enough for it to be nice and wide and doesn't affect the speed of the fin or anything. Just a bit of a tip for marina fins or jardy fins for those of you with wide feet. And there we have it. These will be on the way to, to Nick in Australia in a little while. Hope that's helped any of you Najadi enthusiasts. Um, cheers.